Это беззаконие. Это беззаконие, я знаю. Я их не предо мной, я с ним. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have for peace from on high, and for the salvation for our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Peace in the whole world for the stability of the holy churches of God and for the union of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for this holy church and for all who enter it with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for our holy father, Francis Papa Fran, let us pray to the Lord. Our most reverend Metropolitan will and for God loving bishops, for the venerable presbyterate, the diaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our government and for all in the service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city, for every city community, and for the faithful living in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Fearable weather for an abundance of the fruits of the earth and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. 
for those who travel by sea, air, and land, for the sake they suffer and the captain, for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Protect us, save us, immerse in us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. I'm her most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious lady, the Theotokos, and ever virgin, Mary with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another, and our whole life to Christ our God. Lord, our God, mighty beyond description, glorious above all understanding, merciful without limits, loving us all beyond expression, look with compassion us and on this holy church, your master, and show us in those who pray with us the riches of your tender mercy. For to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is due glory, honor, and worship, now and ever and forever. Wisdom be attentive. Come, let us worship and bow before Christ, O Son of God, wondrous in your saints. Save us who sing to you. Alleluia. 
Свят и Сы Божий наше Деви Слово ссылаем Отцу и Сыну и Святому Духу ныне и пресно и во веки
Сына на престоле славы Царства, присоединяя к Ренце в данной небесной и выведя веков. Please be to your reader. Wisdom, be attentive.
wisdom, let us now listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Let us be attentive. Now, after six days, Jesus took Peter, James, and John, his brother, led them up on the high mountain by themselves, and he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became as white as the light. And behold, Moses and Elijah appeared to them, talking with him. Then Peter answered and said to Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If you wish, let us make her three tabernacles, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was, he was still speaking, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and suddenly a voice came out of the cloud, saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased, hear him. And when the disciples heard it, they fell on their faces and were greatly afraid. But Jesus came and touched them and said, Arise and do not be afraid. When they had lifted up their eyes, they saw no, no one but Jesus only. Now as they came down from the mountain, Jesus commanded them, saying, Tell the vision to no one until the Son of Man is risen from the dead. Glory to you, o Lord. Glory to you. Christ is among us. Glory to Jesus Christ. Slava Jesus Christ. I'm very glad to see you this evening in our church. I'm glad that at least you came. In the whole liturgical year, there are many different holy days, many different feasts. But there are a few of them which, is really, which are really great. In that list, we can see Nativity of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Baptism of our Lord Jesus Christ, entering to the Jerusalem, Resurrection, Ascension and Transfiguration. Same level, same feast, same importance. Same Jesus Christ, same salvation for us, for people. Even more, you know, I like to say that Transfiguration is really close to the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. We can see the light of Jesus Christ. We can see the Father in this event. We can see that Jesus Christ, he was transfigured on the Mount Tabor. In the moment of resurrection, he was transfigured as well. And even more, you know, on that Easter night or Easter morning, People bring the baskets now to the church to bless the food. And same thing we have here this evening. You brought some nice vegetables, fruit, harvest. This is very nice tradition in our Byzantine Catholic Church. This wonderful tradition. Back in the time, you know, before Walmart, 
people were working on their fields, no? They were working with ground, with earth. In the beginning of the season, usually it was in the time of the Pentecost, priest is to go to bless the fields, the grain. Hmm? And now at the end of the season, at the end of the, of the summertime, when it is time to pick up the harvest, people usually, they were bringing this day and this feast, the first harvest, you know, first vegetables, first fruit to the church. And it was like a sign, you know, like you know, that thanksgiving to God, you know, and that gratitude to God that here is Lord. Thank you so much that you gave us this, this fruit and these vegetables, that you take care about us, that you didn't abandon us. And priest, just like we will do after the liturgy, was blessed this vegetables and fruit. Nice. But today, we have everything in Walmart. We have everything there. We don't have to take care about some gardens or big even gardens like fields. No, no way easier, you know, to go to Walmart to buy that stuff. To be independent. Hmm? Kind of to be independent of that work, of that labor. And even with this, Come, comes a very interesting thing that people don't think anymore, you know, who takes care about them, who provides for them, you know, all those goodies, everything that would we need, that independence. You go to internet, on the internet, turn on the TV, Everywhere is freedom. You're free. Yes, you're free. You can do whatever you want. And your freedom is the most important thing. Yeah, freedom. Even freedom from God. Why I had to come to the church? To humble myself and to think that I'm a servant and to think that I have a Lord if I am a Lord. I don't want to be a servant. No way. Why I had to go to the confession and humble myself and tell all my sins to some priest? No. I will not do that. I am Lord. I know better how it has to be. Why I have to be humble. Hmm. Freedom. There is a problem. That we forgot about God. In our lives. There are always. Two mountains. One is mountain Tabor. And one is Golgotha. Disciples in, today, in today's gospel. They were very happy of that event would happen. They were ha very happy of that, you know, what they sin, have seen. Even more, they didn't want to leave that place, no. They wanted to stay there forever. It is very easy to be a Christian where is everything good. It's very easy to say, I am a Christian when I don't have no troubles. It is very easy to be with God in those moments. In the moment of the Golgotha, when Jesus Christ was crucified, 
that were just Mary, mother of Jesus, Mary Magdalene, and Apostle John. It was difficult to another apostles to stay there, to be there. When we have some troubles, some problems, some difficulties, we're asking ourselves, why God, he doesn't allow me? Why he doesn't punish me? Why I have to hell this cross? Why do I hell this cross? We don't want to accept that. We want to escape from that moment. It is difficult. But it is possible. It is possible if we will trust into God. If we will believe in Him. If we will live with Him every day of our life. It is possible to stay with Him in those moments of Golgotha. And here is, you know, true freedom which gives us Jesus Christ. The freedom of that pain. Because he is with us in those moments. He suffers with us. There is freedom. Freedom from the sin. Which gives us Jesus Christ. Here is that liberty. Which we can find. In our Savior. This feast. It's a very important moment in the life of the apostles. Because after the resurrection, they didn't have any fear. They were dying for God. Even if you have seen that movie, you know, Apostle Paul. Paul, Apostle of Christ. Very nice, you know, they're showing very nice that life of the first Christians in the room. They were crucifying, you know, the Christians, um, you know, in the center of the city, in the downtown. And they were firing them up to light up the city. Hmm? First Christians. No fear. Nobody saying, you know, I have freedom. There is a humbleness. I wish to every one of us. May this moment of the moment of the transfiguration will be an important moment for us also. When we are seeing this light of Jesus Christ, could really believe in Him and stay with Him all the time. Doesn't matter if it is good or bad. And for everything would glorify. Let us all say with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. O Lord, Almighty God of our fathers, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to great mercy, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Again, we pray for our Holy Father, Francis, Pope of Friends, and for us, Reverend Metropolitan William, for good loving bishops, for those who serve and have served in this holy church, for our spiritual fathers, and for all our brothers and sisters of Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our government and for all in the service of our country. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the people who are present who wait you great and abundant mercy, for those who show us mercy and for all Christians of the true faith. Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful and loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever.
God, remember in his kingdom our holy father Francis, Papa from our most reverend Metropolitan William, all entire priestly diaconal monastic order, our government and all in the service of our country, every memorable founders and benefactors of this holy church. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom all the Christians of the true faith always, now and ever and forever. Precious gifts placed before us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Friend is through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed together, with your all holy good and light reading spirit, now and ever and forever. Lord have mercy. Peace be to all. Let us love one another that with one mind we may profess. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence and undivided. In wisdom, let us be attentive. incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. He rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father and he is come and condemned glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit Proceeds from the Father, together with the Father and the Son, is worship and glorified. He spoke through the prophets in one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. I profess one baptism for the remission of sins. I expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand aright, let us stand in all, let us be attentive to offer the holy and Ephraim in peace. So for our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Oh, let us 
give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and just. It is proper and just to sing to the blessed, to praise it, to thank you, to worship you in every place of your dominion. For God, ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, ever existing, yet or the same, your only begotten Son, your Holy Spirit. You brought us out of non existence into being, and again raised us up when we had fallen, and left nothing undone until you brought us to heaven, gave us your kingdom to come. For all this we thank you, your only begotten Son, your Holy Spirit, for all that we know and that we do not know, for the manifest and hidden benefits bestowed on us. We also thank you for this liturgy which you are pleased to accept from our hands. Even though there stand before you thousands of archangels, tens of thousands of angels, cherubim and seraphim, six winged many eyes are in aloft on their wings. Singing, shouting, crying aloud, and sing the triumphal hymn. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord is on the highest. We also grant that this blessed person will make a nest and say, Holy are you, Lord, holy, and may God send the Holy Spirit. Holy are you, Lord, holy, and may God send the Holy Spirit. This is the Lord, the Lord, that you gave the Lord, the God, and the Son, so that everyone who lives in you should have perished by the life of the Lord. Holy disciples and apostles. In the name of the Lord, confidence in you, no judgment or condemnation. Moreover, we offer you this spiritual sacrifice for those departed in faith, the forefathers, fathers, patriots, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every just spirit brought to perfection in faith. Especially for most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary.
among the first, O Lord, remember our Holy Father, Francis, Pope of Rome, Aramis, Reverend, Metropolitan, William, our God-loving bishops. Preserve them for your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, health for many years, as they faithfully impart the word of your truth. Amen. And that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and magnificent name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. May the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. Now that we have commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts offered and consecrated that our God who loves us all may receive them in his holy heavenly and mystical altars in realm of spiritual fragrance and send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord. That we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. That this holy evening be perfect, holy, peaceful, and without sin. Let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For an angel of peace of for an angel of peace, a faithful guide and guardian of our souls and bodies, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For the pardon and remission of our sins and offenses, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For what is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the whole world, let us beseech the Lord. Grant that we may spend the rest of our life in peace and repentance, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For a Christian painless and a shame peaceful end of our life, and for, the, and for a good account before the first and judgment seat of Christ, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. Asking for unity in the faith and for communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. O Lord, 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 O Царство и сила и слава Отца и Сына и Святого Духа, ныне и пресно и во веки веков. Аминь. 
Bow your heads to the Lord. We give you thanks, invisible King, for by immeasurable power you have fashioned thanks and in the greatness of your mercy, you brought all things out of non existence into being. Look down from heaven, O Master, upon those who bow their heads to you, for they do not bow to flesh and blood, but to you, the awesome God. Therefore, a master may smooth for the good of all the path that lies it according to the need of each. Sell with those who sell, travel with those who travel, cure those who are sick of physicians, souls, and bodies. Through the grace, the mercies, and the loving kindness of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed together with your all holy, good, and light reading spirit, now and ever and forever. Let us be attentive, holy gifts to holy people. God and with faith. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord, Lord is, is God, God and has revealed himself to us. Chashus Thank you. 
Sing your people, O God, and bless your inheritance. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and forever. Now that we have received the divine, holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly light, creating an awesome mysteries of Christ, let us wor worthily thank the Lord. Lord have mercy. We thank you, Master, Benefactor, for our souls who love us all, that this day you have made us worthy of your heavenly and immortal mysteries. Through the prayers and intercession of the glorious Theotokos and the ever Virgin Mary of all your saints, may straight her path confirm us all in fear of your car, life, and sacred her steps. For you are our sanctification, we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. The Lord blessing those who bless and sanctifying those who trust in you, save your people and bless your inheritance. Preserve the fullness of your church, sanctify those who love the beauty of your house, glorify them, return by your divine power, and do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the priests, to our government, and to all your people. For all generous giving can every perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. And we give glory, thanksgiving, worship to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. And call the Lord be upon you for his grace and loving kindness always, now and ever and forever. 
at this point of this, of this divine liturgy, we're going to bless these fruits and the vegetables. And please sing the troparian of the feast. You were transfigured on the mountain of Christ our God. A Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. The Lord Jesus Christ, God of God, who said to your disciples, Whatsoever you ask when you pray, believe that you shall receive, and it shall come to you. We humbly beseech you, bless and sanctify the first fruits which your faithful servants have brought today to your holy church. May these first fruits preserve the life and health of those pre present here, as well as those who are absent. May they, may they be an effective medicine for those who are sick and ailing, as well as a protection against the assaults of the enemy for those who keep them in their homes. And may those who partake of them enjoy the fullness of your goodness and blessing. For you are the God of peace, love, and mercy. And you love mankind, we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Bless, O oh Lord, this new fruit of the vine, which through the celebrity of the air and drops of rain and temperature weather, you have graciously been pleased to let attain at this time unto maturity. May our partake of this offspring of the vine be to gladness for us, and may we offer it as a gift to you for the purification of sins through the sacred and holy body of your Christ, with whom you are blessed together with your all holy, gracious, and life-giving spirit now and ever and forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O Master, Lord, our God, who have commanded that we offer to you yours of your own, and who repay this offering with your eternal good things, who graciously accepted the offering of the widow, who gave according to her means, accept, means, accept these first fruits which your servant have offered to you, and allowed to them a place among your eternal treasures, granting them an abundant harvest of your earthly benefits, together with all things profitable to them. For blessed is your name, and glorified is your kingdom, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. May this fruit and vegetables be blessed by the sprinkling of this holy water in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please sing the Troparian. You were transfigured on the mountain of Christ is among us. 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 Glory to you, Christ, God, our hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Give the blessing. 
Hey Christ, third true God who was transfigured in glory on Mount, Tab on Mount Tabor in the presence of his holy disciples and apostles, have mercy on us and save us through the prayers of his most pure mother and of our holy father, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, through the prayers of our blessed martyrs, Bishop Theodore, Bishop Paul, and Bishop Basil, and through the prayers of all the saints, for Christ is good and loves us all. One more time, thank you so much that you came this evening to our church. You know, we can build even new parishes, new churches, but without people, without you, there are no feast, no service, nothing. We people who are in the church, we make the church, we build up the church. I wish that every one of us in this feast, this evening, in our hearts, will really be thankful to God for everything what He gives to us, not only for this fruit and vegetables, but for everything. May we all together would say, I have seen the true light. I have seen Messiah. I have seen Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And I will, all the time, listen only to Him. Have a blessed evening and glory to Jesus Christ. Grant, O Lord, to all people here present, to all our parishioners, to all our families, relatives, and friends, to all sick people of this parish, peace, health, and happiness for many happy and blessed years. Amen.